<laughs> Can we get into this monochromatic outfit though? Shit, he didn't want to give me an interview, so we invading this motherfucker. <laughs> Shout out AC to Andre. Oh, AC. You not cold for real. That's why you ain't man. AC. All right, that's enough. You said AC for what? Forever. Forever. <laughs> Level. But can we get into this monochromatic brown look you got going on? It, Please. You know I try. I try. I try. Can we do this? <laughs> we got the fur. We got the level. Like it's all rainbow, y'all. Right. Yeah. Not too crazy. Uh, it's not, all like, you know, so still on a budget, but you know. Do a little song, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, uh, you know what I'm saying? All right, let's get to it. All in audio Yo, what's up, everybody? It's the All In Audio Experience, and we are at Who Cold For Real Volume 2. Volume 2. Volume 2. <laughs> dos. Think that's right. Yeah. Yes, uno, dos. Trent, quadros. Yeah, yeah. And I'm with the lovely, the wonderful, the talented, Humbly. Yes, that is I. Yes, yes, Humble. So you rock the stage just now. First vibes getting off the stage. How do you feel? I feel complete. Um, I see the areas that I can critique, but I'm trying to just take in the joy of the process. Of taking the moment. Yeah. Taking the moment because she killed it, y'all. Thank like you. We ain't critiquing nothing other than she killed it. Thank she killed you. it for sure. She, so you had a wonderful performance. Uh, your voice sounded amazing. You rock, you rocked the stage. You controlled the stage. So you Thank did your you. thing for sure. Go don't on. make me cry now. Don't, you know what I'm saying? If you want to <laughs> shed a tear, we get emotional up here. You know what I'm saying? So, I love a good emotion. You know what I'm saying? A good little teardrop. Just, just one. one. Just one. Just <laughs> one. You know what I'm saying? Not the tattoo ones. The real ones. <laughs> she getting a lot of love right now, y'all. Everybody kind of, you know what I'm but saying? But I'm focused on y'all. My love is for y'all. For, for real. sure. Look. Her fans. Strictly for her fans. So <laughs> getting on the stage. So getting on the stage. Were you mm-hmm. nervous at all? Were you? Well, how did you feel getting on the stage? I like to know about them like... The process for me of being on stage is joyful, but Mm -hmm. beforehand, I'm kind of focused on, like, how I want to execute. I'm looking at previous performances, and I'm looking at, like, how I want to deliver as me, but still, like, be able to gear toward the crowd. So I kind of come off strategic before, so my anxiety be a little, like, oh, Lord, but knowing that I'm in good company and good spaces, it lets me know I can be in there. Who saw kind of okay, for sure, So today for sure. was really smooth. So you saw some familiar faces in the crowd too. That yes. made you feel a little bit more comfortable. And me and Jamal have performed. Well, yeah, we performed a lot together in the past in college. So it was like, okay, that's my brother. That's family. You know. Okay, for sure. And so it was interesting seeing like y'all because y'all are both in the R and B lane, but y'all are kind of different. Yeah, he's got that more crooner like yeah. uh, singing in the rain type of vibes. And you're like so like mystique. You. you know what I'm saying? So where did that come from? Uh, do you see yourself that way? Like, what type of R&B artist do you see yourself as? I really don't even see myself as, like, an R&B artist. I okay. just see myself as, like, a full-round creative. And I okay, just kind I can of see fun. that. Yeah. Sure. But I love the fact that people interpret me how they want. So, mm-hmm. like, I let them have that freedom. So yeah. I do kind of see me in... Um, me and Jamal's differences, but that's the beauty yeah, to me of, sure. like, the different types of style there is, but still so much so. Yeah. So I'm like, yeah. Because it's like it, you, like, you could cross over it either but it's like uh there's like a rawness to it with your like especially with your voice the way it sounds and then like because like you can you could definitely like you have just a full voice i love that so i love that so what uh what what got you into uh music what made you become pursuit of creative like career path um writing it like okay um i got really open into writing at a very very young age okay and then i always heard melodies okay and mm-hmm. Then I don't know, just being in church and then just finding ways okay. to like find freedom and creativity. Okay, and it just sure. yeah, happened for me just like that. And I've been just doing open mics around the city, and people were like, "Oh my gosh, I like this!" Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, "Okay, well, here you go." Okay. <laughs> so, what's some of the artists that you gravitated towards? Erica Badu, J. Cole, Cole um, World, yeah. No Snuggy, okay, then. all right, all right. Odyssey, Masego, okay. um, Jill Scott. A uh, sister, I love sister. Um, I love Doja, but like that's like more modern stuff. Oh, yeah, but when I go old saying. school, I'm talking like Harold Melvin in the Blue Nose. Okay, what you know about uh, Harold Melvin? What do you know about Harold Melvin? Honestly, I'm a big Kanye fan, so uh-huh. he would sample like Harold Melvin yeah, and yeah. stuff like that. So that's kind of how I would go back to the greats because I was such a hip hop head. I'd be like, Dude, what are you that's so crazy because my grandparents, I was raised with my grandparents, so I got okay. introduced to like different styles. So like Bobby Womack and stuff like okay, that. Okay, yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. That old school, that just felt so, stuff. Like, so you got it from the source. I would always have to go backwards. It was weird. <laughs> I would always have to go backwards. Like I would be on some new school. That's stuff me on current be, stuff. Like. Okay. 
okay. people are like, why don't you know about this? I'm like, I was raised with my grandparents, baby. I don't know what to tell you. Type stuff. I feel you. <laughs> It'd be funny when they be like, you heard this before? And be like, yeah, but I heard the original. They'd be like, the original? You'd be like, okay, you're making me feel old. <laughs> I'm like, all right, relax. Not too much. Not too much. Look, black don't cry. Don't let them do you like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they be trying, but you know. Still young. Period. He's still young. Especially AC. He be trying to play me like a little. He be hating sometimes, but you just gotta you just gotta shove him a little grace. You know what I'm saying? We gotta we got to. So uh what what do you have upcoming? You know I'm a journalist, so I'm gonna pull whatever I can. You know, I've been waiting on you. Oh, this okay. has been this has been a long time yeah. coming. I've been keeping up with you through AC. Mm-hmm. So what do you have planned as far as projects? So I have a project in mind called About Davy Davy Jones Locker. Okay. And I know that sounds crazy, but it's just supposed to be like kinda mystical, talk okay. about the rawness and the truth of my story and who I am and how I transition into what I'm becoming. Okay, for sure, for sure. So, uh, can we expect any maybe singles or any visuals? Oh, for or sure. Anything? I do okay. have some visuals on the way because I plan on um, actually auditioning for a uh, tiny disc. Okay, for sure. Yeah. For sure. You will rock that for sure. I hope so. That's what that's <laughs> you will rock. No, you will kill that. Like y'all, like live. Y'all gotta see her. If you see this before you see her live, y'all gotta see her live. For sure. <laughs> That made my day. Thank you. No, I got you for sure. And so, uh, one last thing about the project: what type of sound? Because, like, when I say you, you, you could go in any lane. Like, honestly, there's times where you almost sound British. Uh, hello, is, governor. I listen to a lot of UK artists. Okay, for sure, for sure. <laughs> so, like, there's times where I'm listening. I'm like, she can almost sound like she. I uh, love Birdie, Adele, Adele, uh, Adele, Amy a Winehouse type stuff, type stuff. But then there's also where you hear the Badu influences or the Masego. Yeah, it's crazy you say that because he was so raw for so long. But I feel like the last like three, four years, he kind of getting his shine. Or right, whatever. I'm like that time. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. But yeah, I just hear so many different lanes you could go in because you're so talented. So what what is this project kind of geared towards? If you could give us a kind of like a couple sounds there would definitely be like my neo soul bass okay for sure and, i can hear neo um, soul for sure yeah because i love you know that eric and jill story neo soul is just, and mm, then okay and then i also uh i think i want to just explore like more modern music for sure okay um i like like electronical stuff like that for sure. i want to find things to have loops and stuff just like Get a, a vibe oops, oops. okay I'm playing. and i love dropping like gems like little convictions and stuff and music okay, making sure. messages and then making it feel you know? good yeah, 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 yeah for sure all right man it's a word right, that you gonna bump to you know what i'm saying yeah, you know, so, okay <laughs> okay so yeah we ain't gonna we ain't gonna give them too much i just right. need a little taste test for them all right, I like that. So, what are you doing creatively, though? Oh, me? You gonna interview me? You gonna feel right? So, right now, uh, I do. I just do a lot of graphics, and I'm I'm trying to get back consistent with the podcast, trying yeah. to turn it up a little bit. So, we gonna give y'all a couple of visuals in the next couple of months. You know what I'm saying? Okay, look at For you, sure. progress. Look at you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's all stay, stay, staying consistent. But one last word before we get up out of here. We're gonna have to do a full pod at some point. But right now, we gonna you know what I'm saying give them a little taste. One word for your your fans out there that's watching this. Um. Thank you for the grace, and I appreciate you for the mercy and the love that you guys shed on me on a daily basis. Because I see it, I hear it, and I feel it, and I just hope that I'm able to bless you correctly with the right words in this new upcoming project. Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> you're so sweet. <laughs> I try on occasion. Every blue moon, the you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> all right, that's all in audio. That's humble lead. This is AC. AC, you just put on a great performance, bro. You Talk did. To the Such a star, bro. <laughs> We made a cameo. Fuck, we talking about? Uh, let me wash my mouth on the podcast. We just had a wonderful, like, beautiful turn, monologue from Humble Lee, and he come up and here talking turn, crazy. And we turning it bit up. What you talking about? Or what you want me to come on here singing? Yeah, let me get, let me get, let me get a couple bars. I want to be a bet to me. Oh, I ain't hit that. Hole. I want to be a bet to me. Nobody else can do what I do Cause nobody else can walk in my shoes <laughs> Please help him out Please help I him want out. to be a bit to me Said I want to be a bit to me Nobody else can do what I do Cause nobody else can walk in my shoes <laughs> we gonna let her sing it I'm no good I don't do voodoo Like them help. other girls I take the message And then I send it To my father's world Can't you hear it I know you feel it Take it lightly The message hurt But do not fight me <laughs> Ooh, that's, that's it That's it right there All it audio All it all out That's I believe y'all We'll be out 
ये जो 